will demonstrate how to install HCL Portal 9.5 with CF18. For your reference, there are step-by-step -step guides available on the HCL Software Customer Support website as seen here. Okay, let's begin. The first thing we need is the software. From the HCL software portal, please download the offering of Portal 9.5 that you would like to install. In this video, I will use the Enable offering, but the steps are similar with the other portal offerings. There are four main zip files as seen here. Please note, the Portal 9.5 install package comes with CF17, so I'll need to also download the CF18 update. Once you have all the needed software downloaded and extracted, you should have a setup folder from the four 9.5 zip files, and I created a directory named CF18 for my CF18 update as seen here. Under the products directory and setup, you should see all the portal, WAS, and JDK binaries. And under my CF18, you should see the binaries for the CF18 update. Before I start, I will give sufficient permissions to both the directories and files. Then, under the setup IIM directory, I'll run the installer for my OS, which is Linux, to install IIM. Once IIM is installed, we need to install portal 8.5 first. So I'll add the repositories for Portal Server 8.5 plus my offering 8.5 Enable. I'll also add the WAS and JDK repositories, as well as the fix needed to allow the install of Portal 8.5 on WAS 9. With the repositories added, I'll click Apply and then Install. I'll select all the packages to install. Select the fix. Update the install directory as needed. Ensure the portal server profile is selected. Then I'll enter my default credentials for the configuration wizard. And for portal. Once everything has been entered and looks correct, I'll click Install and start the installation. After the installation is complete, we need to upgrade to CF18. Before we can apply CF18, we need to stop the portal server and the configuration wizard server.
now we can update the repositories, remove the existing ones, and add the CF18 one. Then click Update and select the portal package. And click Update to install. Once we have CF18 installed, we need to run apply CF to update the WP underscore profile with CF18. When apply CF is done, we need to stop portal once more to install portal 9.5. Again, in IIM, I'll update the repositories to include my 9.5 server and enable offerings. and click install. Select my 9.5 packages. Enter my WAS and portal admin credentials. These are the ones I entered when I ran the installer with the 8.5 packages. And validate and install. Once an install is complete, let's test to see if we can access portal. Then we can test the login. So as you can see, we have portal 9.5 with CF18 installed. Now to get the 9.5 Woodburn Studio demo site and Practitioner Studio, we need to run a config task to enable the 9.5 features per the portal documentation. So I'll just run the task. And once that's done, we can refresh my browser and that looks better. And here's the Practitioner Studio. This concludes this video on installing HCL Portal 9.5 with CF18. <laughs>